La Liga team of the season is expected to be coming this Friday the 7th of May and the reasoning for that is because in the foot champions when you go ahead and find the rewards that are going to be next it does actually say La Liga team of the season for the red player picks and the elite packs it does clearly state it is going to be La Liga so I think it's fair to say La Liga is going to be the next one coming after Premier League and that is of course going to be the closest Friday which is Friday the 7th and after that it is expected to be Bundesliga and from then it is going to continue and generally the second leagues have been continuing so with La Liga we are probably going to be seeing something like the Super League if EA Sports are going to be keeping it exactly the same this is of course going to be the Turkish league and it is going to have some decent players but I think the main minor league that we are waiting for at least personally I'm waiting for is Eredivisie and we have been talking a lot about that in the Twitch streams but getting straight into these predictions now I do think Oblak is most likely going to be the goalkeeper that we are going to be seeing and definitely he does have quite a lot of fans behind him I do know a lot of people are interested for this card and most likely he will be the best La Liga goalkeeper that we are going to have and also some decent SBC fodder so not too bad at all then we do have our right back I do think Jesus Navas is probably going to be the player the man that we are going to be seeing Sevilla so you could actually have quite a nice link to the center back which is going to be Koundé fingers crossed it is going to be Koundé I do think he has quite a decent chance from what I've heard and it would actually be a very nice link up we do know French of course as well with Varane Fofana and I do actually think Fofana is quite a similar player very very similar to Koundé in fact they do play pretty much the same type of centre-back role but maybe so many people are playing now full-backs at centre-back will Koundé actually stand a chance I really really liked his road to the final card in fact I was using him only until a few weeks ago when I did change him I replaced him for Zambrotta moments and I had to play him of course right back playing at centre-back but what can we do absolutely everyone else is doing it so I think Koundé could be quite a decent card if we do see him then we do have Sergio Ramos unfortunately his partner Rafael Varane apparently he hasn't been playing too well in La Liga so maybe we aren't going to be seeing a Varane but I would love to see Varane as well but maybe if that does mean that Koundé is going to be missing out I guess some people would want Koundé he's more affordable more accessible but Ramos has been said to be playing better in real life so that is what it does depend on and this week it isn't depending on a vote or anything like that maybe in that case Varane might have won the vote actually but you do have a to the final card already available for him so if you really want him there is already quite a good card available then we do have the left back position I do think it is going to be Jordi Alaba this should be quite an interesting card does he have that center back quality I'm not too sure the physicality maybe would have to be a little bit higher the defending isn't really too amazing but maybe in the traditional left back position if you actually want to play him or maybe at 5-5 five five at the back which is quite ratty these days as well left wing back there is a possibility because the pace is quite good good the passing is there and the dribbling is definitely there so this could be quite a nice card that we are going to be seeing but moving on now to the midfield there's going to be some really nice cards in here I do think Casemiro could be quite a good option he's going to be having hopefully a big pace upgrade we are going to have to see if we can slightly get it up there to the 80 plus I think that could be a really really good deal but if not I still think it is going to be okay with the shadow chemistry style slap that on there and the physicality could possibly Possibly be extremely high the defending as well he's literally going to be an amazing CDM if he does get in here and hopefully he does fingers crossed he has had a few special cards I think this team of the season would really really top it off then we do have Lorente I'm really looking forward to this card and I'm hoping personally it is going to be a center mid even though he has had a lot of those right mid positions apparently that's been where he's been playing in real life and if he has then good for him but I would really want him in the center mid position that the links for me they there's so many more links in center mid and I already have quite a few right mids that's not really the play style that I am looking for to start him as a right mid and I want him on that max chemistry but the pace could be amazing the dribbling's amazing defending physicality shooting passing literally any way you want to play him he's going to do the job so I'm really looking forward to this card and hopefully he's going to be making it in here one card that I would really enjoy in my red player picks for sure and also hopefully he isn't going to be too expensive then we do have Tony Cruz 
Luis, I think, amazing player, of course, in real life, definitely doing his job, played a major role in the games that I did watch, Liverpool versus Real Madrid, Champions League, quarterfinal, of course, but I do think this is going to be an upgrade, of course, from his flashback card, maybe just by a 1 plus, a 2 plus would be something special. I do think on the market, he's going to be less than 400k, so it is going to be quite a good card. If you did miss out on the flashback SBC, thought maybe that's too expensive, this is going to be perfect for you to jump in and take advantage of this card because the passing could be really high on this and it would actually be a very very nice card indeed then next we do have ourselves moving on to the attack and I do think Benzema is going to be an amazing card starting this off I know a lot of people are looking forward to this and the rating hopefully skies is literally the limit he's had so many special cards already with that headliners boosting up every single time great choice from EA Sports to choose him as a headliners but we will see what rating EA will give give him will it be a 97 is 98 possibly deserved he's gonna have absolutely amazing shooting he's perfectly gonna be similar to harry kane and he should have a little bit more pace indeed so we're gonna see with this card i think this could be really good and an underrated card if you are gonna be getting him in your red player picks then we do have griezmann a little bit lost his style he hasn't really kept his value this year in fifa 21 i feel it has been like this for quite a recent period of time unfortunately even though back in the day he'd be an absolute baller I'm not really too sure where he has gone is it the skill moves in weak foot maybe that's not really playing the role but just the influence that he has had no one's really felt real demand for him but unfortunately that has just been the way it is but maybe could this team this season card give him a little bit of a boost I feel he could be quite a common card maybe in red player picks still probably not keeping his value but possibly an underrated card that could be low-key a very very good player then next we do have ourselves Lionel Messi of course you cannot have a La Liga team of the season without the main man himself Lionel Messi I do think he's probably going to be the same rating as his team of the year card it would be absolutely scenes if we do see him 97 rated one lower than the team of the year but I mean should we really be expecting that maybe because we did see with Bruno Fernandes that the, the team of the season cards just are getting lower or exactly the same as the team of the year so it will be a surprise to see how Messi is going to be rated but of course no surprise to see him in here then we do have ourselves Yusuf and Naziri and I think this is going to be an amazing severe card if you can link him in there because the nationality unfortunately isn't really going to be helping you out but still La Liga and Sevilla not too difficult I think overall this could be a very nice card he has the physical he has the shooting he has the dribbling and the pace so we're going to be checking out this card possibly it could be quite a nice low-key card that you wouldn't really mind seeing in your red player picks then we do have a yaza barn and i do know a lot of people are waiting for this absolute baller i know a lot of people who would really want this card maybe in their guarantee i don't think he's going to be too expensive to be honest and he does look like a very good overall card he has everything you need for a winger or possibly a central cam then we do have ourselves a luis suarez and look at this dynamic that we have given him i'm really in love with this card the shooting is literally perfect on the card that we have given him i do believe it is isn't too unrealistic to say that he can get 99 shooting because he did have quite high on the player moments that was actually an objective and that card was really sensational I only used him for a few weeks because then I was getting memed a little bit but he was actually an amazing card I'm very very tempted if he does get one to play him up front with my Zhao Felix player of the month even Zhao Felix is actually someone who's just rung the bell could he maybe be getting it in here I'm not too sure maybe hopefully as some sort of an objective so I think is very unrealistic but maybe an SBC, I would 100% do that. Zhao Felix and Luis Suarez up front would be the dream. And 99 fingers crossed EA Sports, Luis Suarez needs to happen. This card would be absolutely broken. Give him a nice dynamic and I will get this card. If Assume, of course, if I don't get him in my player picks or a guaranteed La Liga team of the season pack. Let me know down in the comments below. Did I miss anyone out? And there are definitely a few cards. Pedri, for example, I do also have a Silver Stars card. Could we maybe be getting something along those lines? I do think there's definitely lots of different things that could be happening. But again, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.